Hello. Okay. First of all, I just want to say I'm sorry I look like shit. Um, <clears throat> I'm sick, and anyways, my face looks like crap. And I'm trying to get my hair off. It's just a bad situation. I'm having lashes on, and her nails. So, mm, okay. But I'm pissed. <laughs> okay, like last year I got my taxes. Okay, for one thing, I just want to let everyone know this is just my opinion. Actually, this is more a fact. I mean, it's my opinion, but it's fact based. Because <laughs> credit acceptance, they're a bunch of motherfuckers, dude. I'm so sorry. This, honestly, if you know if you guys have ever seen it, it's my credit acceptance. Binder. <laughs> Sorry, my nose really hurt. It's like so runny and I'm so like mm, allergy ish. Okay. So, let's go back to last year when I did my taxes. I did my taxes. I was expecting to get money back. Me and my children. We're going to move. Finally, thank God. Because I have other stories, but um, we kind of need to move this away from here. And all of a sudden, mm, let me see. What was the total of that? I need to find that one paper, but all of a sudden, um, I get a thing in the mail saying that $6,478.87. Six thousand four hundred seven hundred seventy eight dollars oh and eighty seven mm -hmm. cents. I get angry just thinking about it. To be honest, okay. <clears throat> yes. I'm sorry. I don't see how these people are literally in business anymore. Okay, sorry, keeping you off track. But, so the other day I get this little jewel in the mail. Okay. This is called a, um, what is this? Okay, sorry. Oh my god, the 1099C cancellation of debt. I'm thinking, hmm. What the heck? Because when they took out the money, it didn't say who took it out. Okay. Um, and right here, it does, it tells me. It says the credit acceptance took it out. My loan started, they say, at $8,780.51. I guess it's going to cost me... Fifteen thousand three hundred and seventy oh six. That's including the twenty five hundred dollars I put down for a two thousand eight Chevy Malibu. That was worth like not even five grand. Okay. These are my new payment records because I called because I've never got anything saying they sold my car. I have gotten text messages requesting um, nudes and three thousand dollars for my car and he said that oh he didn't have a key to it they never got fixed he sent me a picture I actually have the picture but on here oh it says auction fee 80 auction key fee 140 auction repair fee 255 then they got a check for my car for seventeen hundred dollars He's trying to sell it back to me for three grand. Um, oh, I'm sorry. And the repossession cost four forty two. Yeah. And they like, you know, I never had seen my payment history until um, like after they took my car. And they started doing these things called transaction correction. Where I pay a payment. I have receipts of the payments. And they just put... Transaction correction. 
Excuse me? So, <laughs> let's just say, okay, my calculations. For one, I got two different fucking, oops, two different loan contracts. Okay, um, I never once signed any of these. First, it says you have 10 days. Okay. I guess I paid, a, you know, $9,475 for that card. I'm beginning. Oh, yeah, and they, uh, and I also paid, you know, for the, you know, the fees, you know, get registered, vehicle license fees, registration. So I paid $265, and then um, two months later, I had to pay for the registration and everything again. Or it was going to be suspended because it was freaking hell overdue. Um, let's see here. I'm so sorry. Okay. My, so my payment says I have receipts for, I've lost some receipts, so. 7,060. Basically, okay, I have all these numbers broken down. The interest, three grand. Three grand in interest. And they say I only made 3,000 payment, 3,000 payments, and I have, like, all these receipts. And then, this is great, this is great. So I was paying on this car for three years. They say I started out at $8,780.51. My balance at the end was $6,666.55. How? How? When literally I paid over eight grand in payments and because I had the receipts. Like, my hair is killing me. Sorry, everybody. But... <sighs> I am just seriously so angry at this point that how can they just with no like I don't even know where this freaking where this six thousand he's nowhere nowhere on here. I get my phone's going. Okay. Anyways, because you know I'd have more be I'd better equipment if I have credit acceptance to take all my freaking nine. <sighs> Seriously? If I was in of jail, I literally have paid over $18,080.78 for a car I don't even have. It makes me so angry. And then they just didn't take, they'll just take your fucking tax refund. And then just send you a little cancellation of debt that you don't even freaking owe because you already paid your car off. You paid your car off and then they gave a fucking got it. It's just seriously. What they have done to me. And like, and like, I found a picture of my car. I'll just show it to you. It's like. The car that they. Like, it's my car because you can just tell, like, the little date in the front. Because. When, you know, they've had a GPS tracker on you and then they decide to, like. Pay somebody to tell you where you are, get you drunk, when. Okay, I'm sorry. This is why. And I don't think I'm going to do anything because we're like poor. Like my whole tax refund. My kid's whole like future. You just take it. You know? With nothing, no, like, we never went to court. Like, I have every document. You guys owe me money. Seriously, I want my fucking car back. Mm. I want, like, really. 
credit acceptance, you can just lie and stuff. They fuck your shit up, dude. Because then they just take your, your tax refund. And then they just, and then they send you a cancellation of debt. Where you have to pay taxes on what they took. After you've already paid them. Total of $18,000 for a car that was fucking not even worth five grand. How do you feel? So when you're like out there golfing and living in your fucking mansion and we're having to fucking make our little videos with our phone because we can't even afford it. And you just have like lose your confidence in people. Because this shit, this shit, over three grand in interest, most of my, my fucking payments, like, say that like, I don't even show up when I paid them, but I just made a payment like, right before they took my car. The last payment. And then they took my gap insurance, you know, like, it's just, there's a lot of weird shit. It's weird how the guy that owns it now is the owner that had it before me. And he went to, like, prison or something for a couple of years, and whoop, boo, he's out. Now what? Now I come take his car back. <laughs> after I paid like all that for it, after it has my personal plates on it. It's fucking frustrating. I just pay the registration and everything, and then they, they just take it like. Anyways, I don't mean it's too long because I will. But I'm very mad. And I need an attorney because. I'm not gonna put up with this shit anymore. For one, I want my fucking tax money back. You took that away from my children. How, like, let's take some away from your kids. Let's have them live in reality for a little bit. Let's have, like, them drive a fucking beater around and then go just take it away from them after they paid 20 grand for it. That they work hard for. And you guys just fuck them over. Oh, but this happened to be hella, you know, oh, mm, you know, it's kind of funny how one of the top people on the company is also, a, was a private detective forever, private investigator. I think that's weird. I think that's weird how the date 425 keeps coming up in my thing, too. I think it's weird. They checked my credit report. Checked my credit report. Day. My good friend passed away. Got hit head on. Fucking semi. When he's on board, like, it's kind of weird. It's kind of a lot of weird shit happens. And you know what? I'm not just gonna sit back and take this anymore because fucking you guys are. You guys are gonna get yours. You're gonna get yours, trust me, because karma's a bitch and you like fucked over so many people. We all just need to get together. Stop just saying, oh well, everyone tells you to fucking let it go. Don't. Because you know what, that's bullshit, that's why they're getting away with this. I want my motherfucking car back and all my money back. Actually, just my tax, give me my car back and my tax return. And we'll call it even. I can probably get way more, because what I'm done. But you know what? We'll see what's up. I mean, it's too long anyways, so. November 11th is a good day. And I will keep you updated what happens next.